can't take you on this trip, my dog. Next one, though. Everybody, uh, back here on the Buckins Plateau here today, looking after a few partridge. Normally we'd be partridge hunting uh, a month or so earlier than this, but uh, had a little bit of time, all worked out, and uh, I'm down around the island now with me, with me buddy Mark Rian. Yeah, you've seen him in the videos before. Normally we're on carving a little bit earlier in the season, but. Uh, it's uh, never a bad time to hunt. No flies. <laughs> no, sir, you figure about my uh, cool we figure this, Mark. I figure about minus two today. Minus two. Oh. So anyway, this is the first for us here now. We're gonna be able to snow on the ground. Freshly fallen in the last day or so. A lot of fellas get it all give up this time of the year, but uh, we're gonna give her a try. So stick around, see what happens here. You think it's a moose, Mark? It looks like it's moose on that side of the hill there. Yeah, that's uh, a cow. cow is it a moose, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. right over. Yes, why? About halfway up the hill there, right in the top line. Yeah, that's something we never saw over here before. Yeah. So. First fresh track we've seen. Down into the talk, I'd say. Yeah. Figures over in the trees, eh? Yeah, go by where it's more of a browning out of fire. We have the Blue Ridge Incorporated again. There. More tracks there, Mark. Yeah, I think there's more. Yeah, we're definitely on this way. See, all you can tell by the way the tracks are, eh? That they're, yeah. that they're going that way. Yeah. yeah. Several birds, eh? Mark thinks that they're probably in this talk of trees here now, so. Then we fly up there now it gets closer, everybody. Yep, yep gone this way, Mark. Huh? I caught a glimpse of one going that way then. Oh, really? Yep. Well, I can see we're about three or four went in the woods, and I did see one. I heard the wings going, and uh, that was it. They flew up where I couldn't get a shot. I only caught a glimpse, that's all. So, ptarmigan one, us zero. Okay, there's another bunch of tracks here and there. A little wind whip. But now look, yeah. Those are going that way. Yep. And they're going that way. So just shows us a bit a few birds in the area if we can just uh, find where they are at this moment in time. Well Mark's up now across uh, the hills there now. Let's see if we can see some tracks over there. We did see another one track back that way, and we're after walking a long ways now, you know, the whole afternoon pretty much. It's uh, pretty cool. I almost reminds me back in Labrador in the spring of the year, you know. Uh, cold enough on your face that wind is whistling, and uh, but uh, we're kind of circling our way back there now, just to where our camp is, and uh, just seeing if we can find, round up another covey of birds or not. And if not, well, we can always go back to where we saw those first ones another day, depending on the weather. We've got a few days here now, so we'll keep at it. Well, guys, that's it for today. Now the sun's starting to set down over the hill there. And uh, we scouted out some areas. We saw some birds. Uh, just weren't lucky enough to actually come across anything that we could have a, have a shot at, but it was a good scouting day. So we'll either go back to areas just like we saw them in the day, go back to the same areas and see what happens there. Tomorrow is not uh, looking to be a very good day weather-wise, but we'll, uh, if we get to break in the weather at all, we'll head back out. We'll take you fellas along. So stay tuned. Go back to the camp and have a bit of supper, everybody. Yeah, you got Sounds it. Good. Sounds good, eh? All right, guys, see you then.
Kick my foot. Well, we never got anywhere yesterday. It was uh, it rained sideways yesterday, and uh, wind blew like nothing else. Um, never slacked off all day, and actually it rained so hard that we lost every bit of snow that there was, at least on this low ground here. We'll see what happens now when we get some on the high ground. But uh, well, if nothing else, the partridge will be able to stand out a bit more now because they're kind of weak this time of the year. So we're gonna start up today and go for a nice long hike. We got a lunch pack with us, and here we go. A few birds there, Mark. Oh, yeah. Must hear like yeah. we can see three or four birds there, half a dozen probably. Yeah, right on top of the hill there, so we're gonna go and try for them now. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, there it goes, look. Look at that beautiful, beautiful bird, look. Isn't that nice, Noah? Mark figures because it's foggy now on the hills. That, uh,. The birds might be up on top of the hills now this morning, and he was absolutely right. So I think we got five or six out of that, which is a good meal or two. Here we go, guys. We got five out of that bunch. That was a real nice, uh, real nice bunch to come across now. So what a difference in the day than before. So we'll see what the rest of it unfolds for. And brother, that was a good shot, eh? That was awesome. Man, oh man. We just left. Ten minutes into the hunt? Yeah. <laughs> Ten minutes from the camp. Yeah. Well, well, well. Put them in our pack sack now and keep on walking. Okay, we can see one partridge on the hill there. Mark's going to have a try for him now. General rule of thumb here is that you, you're trying for a few birds. You take a shot on the ground first and then follow up with some wing shots after. So. There you go. So I don't know about that shooting uh, there this morning, Chuck. Oh boy. I think we've still got to sleep in our eyes. Yeah. Especially Start. me. Starting off early in the morning. Lots of fog. The birds are, uh, are showing up really good this morning. After uh, the fog, uh, or the snow, uh, melted last night. And the birds are white now. So, and I always heard, and I've seen it too, where on foggy mornings, the ptarmigan like to go to the hilltops. And seems to be happening here this morning. So uh, hopefully we have a good day. Well, the fog hasn't lifted, so Mark got his GPS there, and he's looking at the same hills. Birds. Where we're going here? I'm trying to stick to the top of the hills and stay out of all this talk. You know, it's really hard to walk through, and uh, you won't see any birds. They usually there, so. But if the fog keeps the birds to the hills, and we'll take the fog. Well, before you guys all ask me the question where Willow is, uh, I didn't, couldn't take her on this trip because I flew down. And sometimes flying with a dog is not easy at a Labrador. You generally only take one dog, maybe two if they're smaller dogs. So chances of getting around were slim, and uh, she's also not trained for partridge. Uh, she does. I do take her partridge hunting up in Labrador, but. Uh, this type of hunting here, she would, she'd simply just go around and scare everything off, so kind of counterproductive. Although, I wish she was here, because I do miss her. 
just pop down for a little spell here and there's two moose. Two moose, where could I have? Right over here somewhere. So I don't know if we can zoom into them or not, but with this camera. Two moose hitting right over the woods there. You hardly know they were there. More scrapes on the trees from uh, the big stag caribou. And just look at the country here, look. How different that was from two days ago. Everything was snow white here. And uh, now today you got to find, job find, even a patch of snow. The terrain looks so different. Everything looks so different from the other day. It's incredible. I don't know if you'll hear me now for the wind or not, but we're up on one of the highest knobs in this area. We climbed a long ways up to see if uh, the rock charm again would be up on these hills, amongst these rocks. Last time we are here, we came up on a, a bunch or two. It's a bit cooler up here and there's a lot of wind. We haven't seen any birds yet. things too. <laughs> <laughs> we just stopped here for a little lunch there now we'll gather our thoughts. Stopped in the lawn by this big rock here and uh, have a little sandwich or two and uh, regroup. Carry on with the day. Hopefully find another bunch of birds. Pretty scarce now just same. After walking a few hours there now. A few kilometers, a few miles. Haven't seen a thing lately but we're bound to be somewhere. Well, we had a little lunch there, and you, you actually heard Mark say he thought he heard some ptarmigan cackling, but it's so windy it was uh, wasn't quite sure. And uh, just as we finished our sandwich, the couple took off just exactly. It was ptarmigan that he heard, and so he flew back up the hill here. So we're going to go back up and have a look now. Well, they outsmarted us again. <clears throat> Never found them. So it's uh, really dirty here. actually enjoyed being up here today like we do we're a little bit different i guess eh, mark <laughs> yeah a little different <laughs> actually we're yeah. kind of got our bearings last time mark got his yeah. gps out again yeah we'll look at the terrain there and make our way back a big circle now back towards camp again and uh, maybe we'll end up where we saw some of those birds this morning and there might be something else back there now or some of those might still be back there so it's cold it's wet and windy Still happy anyway. Still plugging the line. Good job, buddy. There's one one bird there sitting right where that snow is. I think we walked right by him the first time. Excuse me, did? Yes, sir, buddy. You never see it on the snow, but yeah, those are not keen. Look. Yeah. And that like the well, well, we're not seeing birds. So they yeah. Around with the binoculars. Yeah. Smart enough to hide away in the snow. Hiding away. Well, good for them. It's a willow ptarmigan. See the brown. Brown. Those brown ptarmigans can be more of a gray color. Oh, okay. It's a gray. Yeah. yeah. So brown on the back is willow and gray and more yeah. gray is a. The brown and white is willow and the gray and white would be a rocker. Okay. Rock ptarmigan. Yeah. were feathers and droppings very very fresh actually right there too look so he's thinking the birds are here close somewhere so we never went hardly anywhere at all and the four birds are sitting right there so what we can see he might even be there a couple there mark to the left not quite sure but you know there's five there look Is that Mark? Six or seven rockers. Rock there, Mark. Yes, 
Why? Yeah. Wow! Woo nice. Knocked the got led the air there too, so yeah, you made a good shot. Nice yeah. Good shot what a blast that was. That's a treat. Oh, he sees our Arctic hair out there. I better around there somewhere. He's brilliant white. I'm trying to get a little closer to him if we can. Is that right? Yeah. 15 or 20 years here hunting. Plus well, we got it on film. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. That was worth it. Yeah. If your line's up a couple, Mark, go, I'll get one on the wing then. Oh, too far, too far, too far. Put up on there, Mark. Look, watch this. <laughs> Yes, sir! <laughs> see a wing shot in there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, we're, we're coming right upon them here. The weather's getting worse. And, uh, but we're still coming across a scattered bunch, you know. We're trying just like take one shot on the ground and follow up some wing shots and give the birds a chance. And uh, it's, getting, it's pretty fun, I must say. It's cold, like I say. It's cold as wet and windy. Miserable, but <laughs> in one way I don't want to go back. Oh my sonny boy. Mark just had the binoculars out. There's the birds. Look down here in the valley and there's a, a bunch there. Looks like it might be a couple of bunches there. This is a spot and stop ptarmigan hunt today. <laughs> you know what? Not too often you does this a birds hunt though. But binoculars, eh? The binoculars, you know, yeah, spotting them. Alright, let's see if we can get down handy to them. Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. Another one there, Markla, down there. Yeah. Sir, sure, Nick. Well, Mark, we have what, four of that one, was it? Yeah, four, yeah. Made some oh, good ones. Yeah, oh, yeah. The brown and white there. Yeah. Yes, sir. I think we got them all on the wing, didn't we? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, at the end of the Our day. Our getting better. Shoot, <laughs> getting better, yeah. Well, I'd say that's a wrap there now, guys. We're pretty much out of ammunition. And uh, camp's over that way. We're going to take off there now and head back and have a bit of supper. Salt, fish, and potatoes. It's going to wrap up the day. I don't know if it's getting better. Huh? Can't, get, can't get any better. <laughs> oh, boy. Mm. Late season ptarmigan hunting. Can't beat it. Well guys, that was a wonderful trip. We're just getting ready to pack up now and head back to town. I'd like to thank Mark and Melanie for making this trip possible and for Mark for, for guiding me along the way. It was a fabulous trip. Most birds I think I've ever hunted in the island of Newfoundland. And such an honor and privilege to be here this late in the season and to have such good success. We saw like a hundred birds yesterday. So there's lots of birds left on the country for another time we come back or for someone else. So until next time guys, take care of each other, get outside and enjoy everything outdoors. We'll see you next time, guaranteed.